Hello everyone, I am Midhansh and welcome to our very first lecture of the Java series. Today I am going to introduce you to Java, what is Java and why is it important. We will discuss everything. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we are on our presentation and let us dive into the world of Java and its importance. So we will know everything about Java in today's lecture. So basically let us start off with the introduction. So basically Java is defined as a high level class based programming language. Now what does it mean? Like what is high level? So high level programming languages are those languages which in which we can understand the code like what is written we can understand but it is not understandable by the computer so to make the computer understand it and do the specific tasks which we have given so there's a interpreter in between which convert our code into the binary code which is understandable by the computer so that way it gives us the output and this is the process of how high level programming languages work the low level programming languages are the assembly language for example which we cannot understand so that's the major difference and then the next thing mentioned here is the class based what does class based mean class based basically means that our java program is structured in that way where we have multiple classes and we have segregated the code accordingly like we, if we are creating a program named person so a person there can be multiple uh, we can say professions like there can be a doctor a student an engineer there can be multiple professions so to segregate them we use classes and uh, that is the way how java works now the next thing is that it has a really really powerful OOP architecture how well it was basically designed by uh, having a look at the C++ because it doesn't have a really powerful OOPS architecture. It's a pretty weak one. So that is why Java was developed and it has a really strong OOPS architecture and it is known as one of the best OOPS architecture developed till date. So that is why it is another major point and an important key point which uh, defines Java. Then the next point as usual that it is a widely used popular programming language although it is pretty old but still it is quite useful in the programming society and there are more millions of uh, java developers and we will discuss why there are still so many developers basically let us know the origins of java as well so basically the java was developed by james gosling and his team at Sun Microsystems. Now it is the Oracle Corporation. We know Oracle for the databases as well. So it's the same company. And it was developed in the year of 1995. So uh, you can just imagine how many years it has been. It's around 28 years and it is still in use by a huge software like which are very famous like the huge companies Facebook and uh, other companies which are, have their web presence so they might use the java as their backend although we have our front application like maybe in react native sometimes in java also like the android apps can be created in java so there can be applications in java as well and uh, those java softwares are still in use because they cannot be replaced but we can upgrade them and I have a question for you that uh, suppose we have a software let's say Facebook has the software uh, they have their backend running with Java so if they want to like change it because it's been 28 years since the Java was developed so what do you think that will they replace it with like Python or some other programming language which is famous right now or they will just upgrade it any guesses yes you might be thinking that they would replace it because it's a new technology python is better and it can we can write the code faster in python but actually 
upgrading will be the better option why because like upgrading a software it's a huge software and if we may want to make any changes so we can simply upgrade it and it will take less amount of money and less time instead of replacing it because facebook cannot shut down their applications till it is being replaced with python code or some other programming language so that is why it has a huge demand in the society in the market as well so and the reason why it was developed is first as we discussed that the oops architecture it has much stronger oops architecture and the second major thing was the need of platform independence see like back in those days in the 1990 mid time there was a need of platform independence as the traditional languages like c c++ was specific to a particular hardware or a particular operating system and if we need the same code for another operating system let's say i am a c developer and i developed a code in windows but i cannot run it in the mac os and in linux we need to uh, make different code according to that os or sometimes it was tied to a specific hardware as well so that was a huge problem and that is why jane gosling and his team thought to create develop java which is platform independent suppose if i run a if i develop a java program in windows i can just uh, like i don't even need to compile it and i can just run it on mac os also i can run it on linux also just with the help of the jdk java development kit so just having that kit we can develop uh, we can develop and run the programs from one os or one hardware to another so that is how java is platform independent and this is a huge reason why it is still popular now let us discuss the usage of java where is it being used currently so java basically there are more than 3 billion devices that run java yes you heard it right 3 billion that's a huge number so they run java and uh, java as i told you it's platform independent so it can run on various platforms such as windows mac os raspberry pi or linux or it can be a variety of unix so there are multiple platforms on which java can run and this is the key point for java to be so popular till date and java can be used to develop a variety of things like desktop applications mobile applications as i told about the android then the web applications games we can have the database connectivity jdbc java database connection and many many more things can be developed in java even i recently developed a uh, games and uh, many web apps and desktop apps as well as we have the java fx swing to develop the desktop apps we have android for the mobile apps games and many many more things now the biggest question why use java it has a lot of benefits to use java to know java and how to program it so its huge capability of platform independence is like as we call the java as write once and run anywhere so if we just code java at one os or at one place and we basically we write it once then we can run it anywhere like on any os on any hardware there is no specific thing required there is sometimes there is a limit of the version of the java installed in the us but there is no other limitation to run the java softwares or programs so that's a huge capability for java then the next thing as we discussed it is platform independent and uh, as i mentioned a little bit about the demand so it has huge demand in current job market for java developers because there are huge softwares still running on java and they just need to upgrade it so that is why there are lots of uh, requirements for java developers many companies are still hiring java developers so that they can make changes in their software that is why there is a huge demand of us then the next thing is that we get really good packages 
for being the java developers yes we get we can like we can compete the python developers as well we get so good packages till date and java is still competing the python as they both are on a similar level although python has lots of libraries but in java because of its oops, archi oops architecture it is still a great programming language and it has a huge support community as i told that there are millions of java developers and they are ready to help us out if we have any issues so yes there is a huge support community there are many websites who have who are providing full tutorials on youtube as well on uh, many other platforms we have the support community for java and a uh, major thing is that it is easy to use and simple to learn although our society says that no java is really difficult but if we start learning it we can basically relate java to our uh, daily life because it has the oop architecture so we relate it with our daily life and we can easily learn java and we can write code in java for multiple things we can develop many things in java as it is really powerful and here we go to the next point that it is secure fast and powerful security is the key point for java as security is a major problem also in nowadays and the softwares built in java provide a, a variety of security for the audio security and many other things speech security so java is definitely a great programming language if we are looking for security for creating softwares in which the data of the user is secure and private and it is fast it is really fast if we want to calculate millions of things to java programs we can calculate them in milliseconds although it depends upon the capability of hardware as well but java also provides a very fast coding scheme and last thing it is powerful which is a combination of security and fast so it is definitely powerful it has lots of capabilities on which we can run java so basically we discussed about uh, the origins of java the introduction to java why is it important as the previous slide that uh, its usage because its usage and why do we have to use java are the key components for its importance because 3 billion devices still run java so it definitely and it significantly indicates the power and the and the importance of java in uh, the programming society so that is it for today i hope you liked the video and if you have any queries related to java you can comment down below so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one